Thanks, Yasmin. Well, the 100th Infantry Battalion and 442nd Regimental Combat Team remains known as the most decorated unit of its size and length of service in the U.S. military. And we've heard their stories of bravery on the battlefields during World War II, all while battling racism at home. But their stories have never been told like this before. And here with us this morning is Damon Wong, the artist behind this comic book, and our real-life hero, 442nd veteran Eddie Yamasaki, and Stacey Hayashi, who's the producer behind this project. And thanks for joining us this morning. Tell us about this, this project. It's a, it's a comic book that is supposed to educate the youth about the 100th Battalion and yes. 442nd. That's correct. Um, there are tons of great books out there. Eddie is actually the author of one of them, um, and then there are eight. It's about I Come Me. But if you can see this, this is what it looks like. And it's a great book, but it's really thick. It's not so kid-friendly, right? <laughs> Sorry, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, yes. that's <laughs> so that's what we're trying to do, um, because that's who really needs to know this story. You know, the kids. I mean, these guys are old. Sorry, Eddie. <laughs> they're in their 80s and 90s, and you know, we're losing them every day. So it's important to catch the youth, and you know, in a way that they already are interested. Um, things, something they're interested in already. But there must be a really fine line between real life storytelling and and comic book, right? And yeah. so, how do you do that? How are you able to do that? Well, it's. Um I mean, I deal with uh, make-believe all the time, but this is historical uh -huh. facts, and right. we have a lot of uh, historians that you know will double-check our things. And you know, there's one instance where I drew coats on all the characters while they were trying to save the the Texas Battalion, the mm -hmm. Lost Battalion, and then Stacy and the historians were like, "No, they didn't have coats back then. They were actually freezing in the cold because it didn't come in oh. at the time." So then I had to redraw everything, I but. See. You know, it just <laughs> takes a lot of work. So it's act, it's factually correct. Everything is factually correct about the stories. Uh, it's just being yeah. portrayed in a much more kid-friendly yeah. form. And and, yeah. and you do this all on computer here. Like, yeah. Um, and well, we do show that somehow. both paper. Both ways. Yeah. yeah. Actually, well, here here's how it starts. Actually, Damon does real magic. I don't know if you can see this. So this is like my chicken scratch, uh, like stick figures. You know, <laughs> that's how it starts. And then I kind of, um, we tell Damon what we want to see, and then he does sketches in pencil and then uh, pen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, can you see? Oh, yeah, there yeah, you can see that. Okay, so this is like when the, um, the guys from Hawaii and the Kotonk guys, they didn't get along, so they would get into fights. And then, yet again, Damon draws it again on his computer, so it turns out like that. Oh, that's his yeah. computer. Yeah. Wow. It's a long process. It's a long it's process. It's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have a drawing um, of you. Oh, yes. <laughs> that you've been working on. Yes, that you've been working on. So. I don't know if you can really see this, but... Oh, I've got yeah. great hair. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> that is of your family. Oh, terrific. Oh, well Thank you. So I love it. And Eddie has one too, right? Oh, he does, yeah. And it's really cute. So there is a fundraiser ongoing right oh, now to help... Yeah, um, oh, there's Eddie's, there's Eddie's, Eddie's, Eddie's picture. picture. What do you think of yourself, yeah. Eddie? You like that? Is that it's accurate? Real good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Damon. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell us about this so that people can go ahead and uh, get a chibi. They're called chibi, these, these characters, right? You know what chibi means? No. It's Japanese for little kids. Oh. Chibi. So you can, so I was a chibi once, of course. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but you're still chibi at heart. Right. Um, definitely. <laughs> and so you think this is a good idea to have the story told this way? Oh, it's great. Uh, Stacy has it planned to get it into the schools and libraries, school libraries, and so on. And it, it's a tremendous medium, of course, to reach kids. You know. And it's important. Yeah, you know, and it, and the teachers would have a great tool, right? Absolutely, yeah. you're right. Yeah. All right, Eddie. Well, thank you so much, Stacy, Damon, for coming in this morning. And and uh, real quick, how can people help fundraise for oh. this? Um, you, we're accepting donations. So I actually, Damon is drawing for free. Uh, it's a lot of work. He didn't know that. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, he, no, he knew. Okay. <laughs> I actually volunteered. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> but um, we're actually, if you're a business, we're taking um, ads for uh, a limited amount of ads in the back. Um, but the chibis we're using to fundraise as well. So you can go to our website, 442comicbook.com, or like us on Facebook. Um, we have a Facebook page as well. And find out more information yeah, about because, how you... Yeah, we're actually going to give the comic books away to the kids in the schools. And okay. that's like 5,000 copies. Oh, so, yeah. 
Great. Okay, well, good luck to you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. And if you'd like to watch this interview again, don't forget, you can head over to the morning section of our website at kitv.com slash this morning, and we'll have all the information also about the fundraising event. Time now, 6.49. We'll be right back.